Hi everyone! Right now we will try to make form component from the easiest one which is label. Okay, let's try this. Oh yeah, not only label of course, we also need the form component. Again, like button, row, column, it's also easy. We can just type form with capital F. With capital F. Form like that. And just put the row inside it. Of course, it will do nothing. Let's make the label using form. Dot. We can find our component right here. For now, we will use label. Try me. It's easy, right? From now on, I will make this into a real form. Let's remove this. To make it real, we will use field input name. Name first. Okay, we can create a form group. Actually, you can use form group or not. It's optional, but I like this one because it gives us additional styling and make it organized. Formable name. Next, we can create our input name using form control. Like any HTML, we can use name as our attribute and placeholder. Type your name here, for example, and just close our component. We don't need this. Done. As you can see, the layout is not good. We can make it better using container. Let's create this container right here. Okay, let's import it. Very nice, right? You can also fluid as your option and it become like that. Fluid is used for responsive. Okay, next we will create our username. Like that. Don't worry about styling, we will make it better later. And password. How do we use the form control as password? We can just do this. Let's copy this first. Password. Name, password. Type your password. The attribute that we can use for password is type. Type password. Let's see. Yeah, this is working well. And the next one is text area. For this, maybe we can use uh, bio name.
tell me your things. Type text area. Uh, I think it's not type. It's using S. Let's try this. Yeah, right. It's using S. Why we are using S text area? It's because form control using input for S default value. And now we need text area. That's why we need to change the type. But the name is not the type using S parameter. We can use type for something like password or email. You know when we're typing input type text or input type email, input type password, we can use it with parameter type. And we don't need to use S input because input is the default value. Hope you understand if you do not understand just ask in the comment section so I can explain it better okay now you already know how to use the normal component in the next video we will learn how to make checkbox and radio button if you like this video please consider to like and subscribe thank you for watching